Lithuanian Interior Minister Agne Bilotite has announced that a nationwide mass evacuation plan will be developed by early October. Lithuanian public broadcaster LRT reported this, citing Bilotite. Bilotite believes that her country should now have a nationwide evacuation plan and be ready to implement it. Each local authority has its own evacuation plan, but obviously we must have a plan of a national scale and be ready to implement it, she said. The minister emphasized that the security of the population has become a priority due to cyber attacks and that civilian protection is now more important than ever. The war against Ukraine rages on. The countries of our region are subject to hybrid and disinformation attacks and sabotage is our new reality. It is important to note that we are at the forefront, so today civilian protection has become a priority, the official explained. She emphasized that strengthening civil protection at the national level alone is insufficient, leading to a decision to collaborate with other Baltic states. Additionally, the countries plan to seek funding from the European Union. We need to coordinate our efforts at the regional and European level. It is costly, but it is important to combine our capabilities and get support from the EU. We are calling for a risk assessment to better understand the threats and strengthen public protection measures, the minister said. Recall Russian drones have begun to crash on NATO territory. Lithuanian Foreign Minister Gabrielos Landsbergis believes that Russian drones have begun to crash on NATO territory due to the inaction of member states. Nothing should be landing on Ukraine or Latvia or anywhere on NATO territory, but this is the new reality our inaction has allowed to emerge. He added that Lithuania would, of course, be supporting a strong allied response. Recall the Romanian Ministry of Foreign Affairs has protested the violation of the country's airspace by a Russian drone on the 8th of September. The Romanian Foreign Ministry expressed a strong protest against another violation of airspace that could have occurred during the Russian drone attack against Ukraine. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs urges to stop the repeated attacks on the Ukrainian population and civilian infrastructure, as well as the irresponsible escalation of the security situation by the Russian Federation, in particular on the border between Romania and Ukraine, it added. Latvia also stated that it had found a crashed Russian military drone in the east of the country and was conducting an investigation. Earlier, the German government developed a new contingency plan in the event of war amid the threat from Russia. The Russian Defense Ministry has claimed that they have allegedly downed 144 Ukrainian drones in nine Russian oblasts, including 20 in Moscow Oblast, on the night of 9 to 10 September. During the previous night air defense forces intercepted and destroyed 144 Ukrainian aircraft type UAVs. The ministry reported that the majority of the drones, allegedly 72, were downed over Bryansk Oblast. They also claimed that 20 drones were destroyed over Moscow, 14 over Kursk, 13 over Tula, 8 over Belgorod, 7 over Kaluga, 5 over Voronezh, 4 over Lipetsk and 1 over Oryol Oblasts. As usual, the Russian Defense Ministry did not report any consequences from the attacks. Media and authorities have reported drone attacks in seven oblasts of Russia on the night of 9 to 10 September. The drones were recorded in Belgorod, Kursk, Oryol, Voronezh, Tula and Kaluga oblasts and Krasnodar Krai of Russia. Ukraine says that yes, it was our next massive attack of kamikaze drones in the Moscow, Bryansk, Kaluga, Kursk and Lipetsk regions. The February drones made the following noise, 59 Ukrainian drones were operating in the Bryansk region. In the first two hours of the attack, Russian air defense fought at least 70 Ukrainian drones in the Bryansk, Kaluga and Moscow regions. Drones were already flying to Moscow, and the Russians were blocking the airports. In four urban districts of the Moscow region, they tried to shoot down 11 Ukrainian drones. One of the UAVs still hit the runway at the Zakovsky airport. Twelve drones also attacked the Kursk region. Domodedovo, Nikovo, and Zukovsky airports in Moscow have introduced temporary restrictions on departures and arrivals of aircraft due to the attack by Ukrainian armed forces drones. Traffic on Kashirskoy Highway towards Moscow has been temporarily blocked due to UAV debris.
Kabul ediyoruz arkadaşlar ondan ha.